I'm Troy Beverly, and this is Pan-African News. Ghana. Ghana rebuts Reuters article claiming it is a jihadist rear base. In the spirit of transparency, Reuters reported on Saturday, October 26, 2024, the Ghanaian government's rebuttal to its controversial article titled in Ghana, Sahel jihadis find refuge and supplies, sources say, which states that Ghanaian sources say that the Ghanaian government is turning a blind eye to jihadists using northern Ghana as a resting place, a location to restock, and a region to seek medical attention for injured jihadists attacking neighboring Burkina Faso. In rebuttal, the Ghanaian government says there is, quote, no non-aggression policy or tacit agreements with militant groups, unquote, and that, quote, the Ghanaian ministry strongly rejects the portrayal of Ghana as a supply line for militants, unquote. The rebuttal closes with the, quote, quote, the government of Ghana through its state security and intelligence agencies conducts continuous operations to prevent any terrorist infiltration or cross-border movement of militants and has been doing so over the years with notable successes." Unquote. Nevertheless, since Ghana has a 600-kilometer border with Burkina Faso, but has not faced a major terrorist attack like its neighbors to the east, Togo and Benin, which have met the jihadists head-on. What is Ghana's secret for success since jihadists are actively engaged in the country? In all fairness, an article by La Nouvelle Tribune gives Ghana credit for deploying a thousand special forces and hundreds of security forces to the border with Burkina Faso in April 2023. It also mentions how Ghana is, quote, also showing its determination to collaborate with Burkina Faso to neutralize jihadist elements, unquote. So whether Ghana is turning a blind eye to the jihadists using its side of the border with Burkina Faso as a launching pad for terrorist attacks or engaging them remains to be proven. However, there are three undeniable facts regarding jihadists operating on the Ghanaian side of the border with Burkina Faso. An article published by Accord on April 25th titled Understanding Armed Violence in Baku, Exploring Links with Terrorism and Its Drivers, mentions that jihadist cells and hideouts in Ghana near the Burkina Bay border have been confirmed by numerous high-level sources. Ghanaian officials are worried that jihadists may exploit Ghana's artisanal gold industry to finance their terrorist operations. An estimated 200 to 300 Ghanaians have been recruited by jihadists for training in Burkina Faso and sent back home to Ghana.